Hey guys, Colby here. Good morning. I hope you're all having a great day. The champion training tournament has just started and I want to give you guys some tips for the next following, uh, well, four days in order to complete it and get maybe what you're looking for. Let's say it again for everybody to hear. You don't need to participate in this one unless you really want to. The only thing that I would suggest everyone watching the video right now to do is this. Look at this. 8,100 points. That is what I'm, I'm, I will try to tell you guys. If you did manage to complete the Armand's Fusion, Hybrid Fusion, 8,100 points is, is what you need to do. That is 2,025, right? Per day. 2,025 points per day in champion training. That includes leveling up your champions, ascending your champions, skilling them up and ranking them up, okay? Anything that involves the tavern, you'll get points for here. That being said, if you want to go the extra mile a little bit, you can get a legendary book, which I suggest people to get for the most part. The only people who I, I'd see not doing this champion training is people who are just laid back. They didn't get Armands and they think, okay, there's no point in me spending my resources. I didn't get Armands. What's the point, right? I totally agree with that. But let's say we are in the other category where we are going to do this champion training tournament. How should you do? Um, how should you do this? 15,000 points to get the guaranteed skin. The skin does not do anything for your champion. It's strictly cosmetic. I love that fact that it's just for the looks. And I love that they've added it as an additional reward. Okay, usually they would stop around the 10,000, but now they've added the 12,500. Uh, 12, 12, I almost couldn't say it. It's actually a good reward, 10 of these. In terms of farming, sometimes it takes me too long to farm these. and for, for the people who, who like to farm Sand Devil, this is actually really tough to get. It helps you um, reascend an item that you had and, and tr try for a better bonus. And then the skin is at 15,000. If you really want to go the extra mile for the five star for Arbiter, that's it. That's up for grabs on the leaderboard, which I believe that's how it should be. A good guaranteed milestone for everybody. All the 100 players here. They can do whatever they want and get this one. A good one, though. A skin is okay. It's a good one. Um, I would prefer having guaranteed skins rather than buying them, buying them obviously, or the, the skins being in the leaderboard, right? It, I think it makes sense. But, but guys, um, there will be other events also in the future. They, they might be trying to push your resources now. There might be a, a new hybrid no hybrid fusion, a new fusion starting, I believe, by next month. Um, my good guess is on the 4th of April, they're, they're going to announce the new fusion. All right. So once this event ends, um, the Festival Titan event ends, I think that's when the new announcement is going to come. So two weeks from now, and they usually announce them on Thursdays. At this point, I have a good understanding of what Plarium does. And at the same time, there's an artifact enhancement here that you can do. So. How do you get some quick points? Ideally, you should be saving up your champions to rank up like like what I have now. Like I have my level 30s and then I have the three stars here. You should be saving them up for when a champion training pops up. OK, if you don't save them up, obviously, it's uh, it's time to go into the campaign and start farming. Ideally, 12 free on Brutal or if you have a nightmare farmer, go on uh, 12, 6 on nightmare and get that done faster. OK, since there's no dungeon divers going on right now. You can get it done faster and get faster levels that way. What you can do with your brews. Look at all these brews. I'm slowly recovering, guys. Remember the champion training we had for the archer? I'm slowly recovering my brews. All the clan bosses that I'm doing every day, I'm doing... Let me show you. Just, just for you guys to understand that this is... This is like... Um, I do Ultra Nightmare. There's my team. <laughs> the last one was almost 100 million, and it's the last one in terms of damage. Nightmare. Uh, I do Brutal. And then hard, I could have thrown a key on hard. I might as well throw it. So that's four clan bosses a day times two chests. That's eight chests that all of them always contain brews. Okay, so there it is. That's the key done. And I'll get a ton of rewards by the end um, of the 46 minutes, right? That is how you go about uh, doing it for brews. And for very fast points, you do this. You go for the three stars. You just throw one brew. That's immediately 18 points. Okay, that's level 10. You can do that in the campaign. That's two runs on Brutal. You can do one run on Brutal if you want to, but that's how you get 
uh, some points. There it is. Look at this. Beautiful. I, ju I would just do this if I really wanted the points. Um, if you don't have the brews, if you don't want to be spending your brews, you just level them up normally. And you do this with every single food champion that you might have. Every single one of them needs to be leveled up. So the plan for me, as an example, is to complete my Mikage fusion requirements, not the full fusion. Um, the, the requirements is what I'm planning to complete. So getting these guys leveled up. So this is level 50. I need to ascend him. So that, that's going to give me some points. Get her uh, ascended and level 50. Check this guy that it's not the one that have uh, skilled up to sacrifice uh, and, and sacrifice the, the one that is not skilled up. So I don't waste my books that I used already. Level her up. Um, why is she six star? Uh, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> she's six star, <laughs> but she's six star. Um, okay, that, that's a waste of some resources. Level 50, just make sure I do that on everybody. Uh, and um, and also make sure that I keep at least one if I have extras, right? And I'll, I'll level them up. That's, that's how I see these. Also, skilling up some of my champions. This is a good time to skill them up. Like my Armands, I want to skill him up today. I don't know when the next CVC comes, so I, I got to spend my books. I don't have that many books, but skilling the, up your champions, if you're not somebody who competes in CVC, will give you a good chunk of points. So you see that uh, 1,200 points just like that. I mean, it's not something that I would recommend people doing, especially on champions that they don't plan on using. So I do plan on using my Armands. That's a very good example of a champion that I will be using. I'm not going to be using any of these others. Um, and then I'll check on the epics, like if, it, if there's a, a good epic that I plan on using, I'll be probably uh, be skilling that up as well. And, and that gives me some, uh, you know, a good chunk of points. A good way to check if you have uh, the dupes of a champion, it's just go into the um, faction guardians. That's what I do and see, okay, do I have that champion already? Can I sacrifice him? If I don't see two copies here. That means it's, I have one, right? It means the one I, I'm looking in the tavern is the only one I have. If I see two, it means the one I'm looking in the tavern that is unleveled is an extra. And the other one is my level 60 that's in the vault. So it's a, it's a quick way to search or you just go here in the, uh, in the tavern and you search them by, by name. That, I was specifically looking at this epic. I summoned it yesterday, guys. And um, I, I had no idea what this guy is supposed to do. I had no idea what this guy is supposed to do. Where is he? Wuzgor or whatever he's called. Um, this guy. Wuzgar. Wuzgar. Like, I'm, I'm not even sure if I have him. Wuzgar. No chance I have him because you didn't see him in there, right? So I click include vault. So this guy is a good example of um, a champion I, I would skill up, right? So the books would give me a good chunk of points. I don't know yet if I'm going to compete for the five star on Arbiter. I, I don't like competing in, in these stuff where it's not a it's not um a huge improvement to the account. Like the arbitrary will be great, the soul, but I don't know. So this way I skilled him up fully. Ooh, I need to farm some um potions. And uh, then I can throw in bruise or level him in campaign. But he's ready to go. And I lock him specifically just so that I never um by accident use him let's let's not give him a heart let's give him a one just so i know that he's uh he's at least somebody that i have and just like that how many points i got i got like 2k 3k points i think the skill books it's a very easy way to do it this guy probably did skill skill ups as well i don't think the first like 10,000 points especially if people are using skill ups is gonna be something to consider if you have an easy group you might as well go for it but don't don't push 100k points for the five star. I I mean, it's not gonna change your clan balls team. It's not gonna change your arena team. You're not gonna finish platinum because now you have a five star. I'm being brutally honest, guys. Um, if that's what you were waiting for to finish platinum, that's not it. So, uh, do what you want, guys. Champion training is there. At least get the points needed for Armand. Uh, closing off the video. I don't want I don't want this to to be you know 20 minutes long without it actually having some value to you guys. So yeah, Arman Souls, go for the five star if you have him. I have him. I'm going to try and get all the milestones that I can that are not from summons. And maybe I can skip some summons and save them out for a good event. So I don't have to summon right when 
Plyum says, oh, there's a summoning event. You, if you don't do this, you lose the Armored Soul. No. If I manage to get everything and I can lose 250 points and still get the five star. And that means losing one summoning um, summoning event, then yeah, great. But uh, that is that is my goal for for this funnel for the next two weeks for getting armaments. Uh, the first week, I think we have 900 points up for grabs. The second week, I think it's 750 points or 850 points. If I remember correctly, I might be completely wrong with this. Just gonna give you guys a heads up that the first week of this is usually the more most points yeah it's a thousand and fifty and then seven hundred on the next week so a thousand fifty points just this week alone okay have that in mind a thousand and fifty that's the four star for a thousand and a thousand five hundred for the five star yeah they really don't want us to keep anything no shards no energy no um skill ups no, no books they don't want us to keep any resources and then just shove packs down our throats, right? Uh, well, it's their tactic and it, it seems to be working if they keep doing it. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Thank you all guys. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.